Amy Osler is a good buddy of mine at CBS. Uh, she's an executive there, and she hooked me up with Peter Lenkoff, who is the executive producer of Hawaii Five-0. As a fan of the original show, I'm old enough to remember the original show, I was intrigued, and Peter pitched me on writing a song for his 100th episode uh, to celebrate their achievement. And he kind of told me about his idea for the 100th episode. They didn't have the script quite done yet, but I thought it was uh, very unique and uh, he wanted a song that reflected the, he would say, Ohana vibe of his show, the family vibe, and I thought I could do that. And, uh, you know, I went and set it down at the piano and wrote a song that kind of talked about the relationship these characters have formed, and here we are at the 100th episode. It's funny, I thought, you know, my first thought was that, all right, how do I get the, uh, the slinky guitar riff in there? And then I thought, that's probably the last thing I should do. I should probably go write a song. You know, Peter was a fan of mine, so I should probably write a song that kind of fits more what I do. But I wanted to write a song, like always, you want to write a song that kind of reflects not just the sentiment of the show, but the setting and the island. So we do, you know, it's an up-tempo song. It's got some cool drums in there. And uh, the lyrics certainly reflect a bit on the island vibe. So, you know, you do the best you can. But at the end of the day, like anything, you try to write a good song. It's funny, uh, I didn't have a lot of time to write it. That's the nice thing about some of these TV projects. You kind of have a deadline, you have an inspiration. So I didn't have a lot of time, so we got in there and did that. But he promised next year when they have their big Hawaii 5 party, which they do on the beach every year in Waikiki, that maybe he'll bring me along. <laughs>